Well, folks, the promise of potential was realised by all those who made it to the 2017 NCHA Futurity Final, but only one horse came out on top tonight as a proven winner, and that was Jewel Rayish, who was ridden by the very accomplished Austin Shepherd, and they marked a fabulous 2.28. Congratulations. Thank you. How do you do it? I mean, my God. Well, you know, it, it, it takes a really good horse first, and, and he's an... He's an exceptional horse. He's as good a horse as I've ever ridden in my life, and it takes that, and that's first and foremost. And then, you know, it takes hard work, not just from me, but from everybody that has something to do with it. I mean, my, my son, Cade, he's lived with that horse all year, taking care of him, and, and, and you know, my help and my turn back help. I mean, there, there's, there's too many people to name, but it, it, it fits for a reason, and it's not just me. Okay, it takes a village sometimes, but you've got to take a bit of the credit. I'll take some credit, but, uh, you know, everything's got to fit and everything doesn't fit if everybody's not wanting you to win. When did you know this horse was special? Tell us about the characteristics of this horse. You know, I, I, I bought him at the Super Stakes. Greg Smith called me, uh, uh, Cade Smith's father, and, and he said that, uh, he said, I think this horse would really fit you. And during the Super Stakes, my back was out. And so I wasn't able to ride him, but I went out there and I watched Cade work him. And I really liked him. And when my back got better towards the end of the show, I worked him. And, and, and he just he had a really good feel to him. I liked watching him, but I liked riding him even better. And throughout the year, he's just matured and gotten better and better. He, he's, he's a special horse. Now, this is kind of historic what you've done because it's really the year of Austin Shepherd. You, you won the Derby the summer, then you won the Worlds a week ago, now the Futurity. Um, your second Futurity, done 10 years ago, your first one. Um, what does this mean to you? Oh, it means the world to me. I mean, it's, it, you know, th this show is why we get up every day. You know, we, it, it's, it's hard, you know. We go and, and, and we get up early and some days are good, some days are bad, but... This is the reason we keep getting up and trying is to come do good at this show. And, and just to get in the finals is a great accomplishment. And, you know, everything after this is outstanding. But uh, and it's, it's the most special opportunity you get in our business. Describe your run to us and what your strategy was tonight. You know, I just wanted to be clean. I wanted to make sure my cows were cut clean. And if I cut the right kind of cow, I wanted to be able to use my horse. And I did. And, you know, I mean, I... I First time I ever made the finals here, Leon Harrell, uh, he told me, he said, you know, uh, he said, what you'll find the more you make the finals here is that one night it'll be your night and you, you can't do anything wrong. And, and, you know, it makes me look really smart when it works, but it just, it just fit. And, you know, like I said, it takes a great horse and great help, but, you know, when it's your night, it's your night, and I'm just happy for it to be my night. Sometimes you get a feeling before and you get into the zone. Is that what happened? Yeah, I mean, I knew he was capable, you know, you don't ever know what's going to happen. I've had other horses that I thought were capable. Um, we definitely had a great feeling about him. Now, tell us about your cow choice, because all the cows up until Jewel Raish, you know, the, the cows were running wall to wall, and then bang, all of a sudden you took control. Was it just great cow choice, or was it that, you know, the horse is so good was just shutting down those cows, or both? I think it was a combination. I mean, I... Actually, the cow I was trying to cut first did not feel very good when I started to drive her up there. And Bill Riddle was right beside me, helping me drive her out. And he said, you know, what's the other cow beside her? And I knew that was kind of a sign for that cow doesn't act very good. And I pushed on her one more time and I felt it. And the black baldy that I cut first was on the outside and I saw her. And we talked about her one time settling. And I thought, you know what, that cow never did anything wrong. I'm gonna, that's a better, better decision. And so I cut her. And then my second cow was a cow we really liked, and uh, we, we had talked about her. And, and right before I went, I asked Steve Olaf. Steve's a very good cow picker, and I asked him his opinion, and he said, I love that cow. And, and when I turned around third, honestly, that was just a cow that was walking out there, and the other cow with her didn't act good, and so I cut her. And it, like I said, it just it worked out. This is interesting about your whole program because – You've won, as we said, the Derby, the Worlds, and tonight the Futurity on horses all by different sires, which really speaks volumes for your program because, you know, everyone's always got a you know, certain bias for certain bloodlines, but there, three in one year, bang. Yeah, I mean, I, 
I, I, I stick pretty close to the highbrow cats, really. Uh, I'm along really good with them. I'm counting check sources, and this is the first full crop for Hottish. So the bottom line is, is you everybody wants a good horse, and a good horse can come out of the blue. You know, you don't ever know, but it just it just proves that you need to not be judgmental and judge the horse. But um, you know, they're three outstanding horses, and that that's their common characteristic. We're going to see some Bama cats in the future? Uh, I think so. We have some good ones coming for next year. Okay. Uh, how did you feel? You always look so calm and collected and cool. When you were holes one and five, and we're often speaking, and you've you've won from, you know, last in the herd. How did it feel having to go through everybody, especially when Lee Francois came out and kicked up a whole lot of noise there and from the crowd? Yeah, I mean, it's nerve-wracking, but, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. You do as good as you can do when you show, and then, you know, we hope everybody else does good. But, I mean, you know, it, it, it was a good cutting, a lot of good horses. And uh, I knew, I mean, usually when you mark a 228, you feel pretty good about it, but I knew the door was still just a little bit open. So what does it mean now? What, it, what are you going to do? you going to take a little break for a, a day or two? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll be happy to be home for a little bit. Well, I hope it's a great uh, Christmas for you. You've deserved it. What a year. Congratulations. Thank you.